Okay, and finally, um, the natural approach. Um, this is designed. This was designed uh, by Tracy Terrell. Um, usually, we call this the Sieber and Krashen method, but actually, he didn't create. He didn't create this. Um, but this is based on the hypothesis that Stephen Crash and development that have to do with input, that have to do with the monitor hypothesis, that, that, that have to do with the affective, the affective, um, what's the name of that one? I forget. But the five, the five um, hypotheses from Krashen. Um, so basically, comprehension comes first. Input is extremely important. Minimizing any affective barriers, anxiety is key also for learning. Uh, here we see that language is uh, important for communication. And what is language is a means for communication. And that is the main function. Um, and we could say that this was the beginning of communicative language teaching. Why? Because uh, there was a movement from the form to the message. There is no focus on, um, it's, there is a strong focus on understanding uh, and on passing a message across when you communicate. Um, and finally, today we're going to refer to the notional and functional syllabus. Um, as I've mentioned in class, uh, I mentioned in another video, is that we, is when we see language as something functional. Mm -hmm. Basically, language is used to perform certain functions. And you're pro you have probably heard of the, com the Common European Framework of Reference, uh, which was created by the Council of Europe. And the idea of this ref, uh, framework is that all the countries could communicate and there was, a, let's say, a political function that we can work in different countries. And this is where we started uh, working with a function. Uh, there were functional syllabus. You probably saw this or your parents might have experienced this, uh, where basically you would learn a language to perform certain functions. So uh, uh, functions would be to greet, to um, express, to uh, apologize, um, and these like chunks are uh, important. And then uh, they can be uh, directed to different specific areas of performance. So in a restaurant, in a hospital, in the office, uh, and that's what we can all understand today as English for specific purposes. So to finish this, um, I would like you to think of this question or this, uh, this declaration. There are, as, there are as many methods as practitioners. Uh, so basically every teacher has their own method. Uh, what do you think of that? And the other uh, statement is, uh, or the other controversy is, should we focus on accuracy and getting messages correct? Or is it more important to get the message across? What do you think as a teacher? This is only for you to think about. So isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? Um, I'm going to stop this so you can move on to your... Um, to your activities. Um, blah, 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 where is my... Ah, here. So, with what we have seen, uh, you should be able to do this task too. Watch the video here, audiolingual method, uh, and identify techniques here. I put the learning principles. I added an uh, uh, sort of... Uh, <laughs> Put it in simple, I try to write in simple what we mean by stimulus response, those principles that are from the audiolingual method. And what does the teacher do or what do the students do in the video that reflect that principle? And I want you to write your own questions of the glossary and this timeline. 
you can as I said you can use um, you can use um, any app that you want to create this timeline you can use also information that extra information that I have given in this um, videos short videos well um, I hope this wasn't too bad I'm very anxious and nervous about doing this online thing I am very aware that I probably make lots of mistakes and that I might sound stupid or silly or or maybe not even being clear so please use the space of comments to make your own comments and which is more important now I will try to upload this because of course I run out of internet and I don't know how I'm going to upload these videos